Hello you guys, y'all are just gonna have to bear with me through this video because my throat is like killing me and I'm having like some nasal congestion and everything this morning and I just woke up on top of everything else. So today I'm doing for my weekly melting basket for March 8th through March 14th and I'm really really excited for this week's melting basket. It's not a whole lot of clams. It's mostly bags um, and shapes from vendors and um, a few scoopables. So I'm really excited for that. And I also have some plans to mix things. <clears throat> so I have the scents that I'm wanting to mix to show you first so that I can tell you guys the blends that I have in mind. And hopefully if you think they're gonna be a major fail, then let me know before I waste the wax. <laughs> um, okay, this first combination that I've thought up is that Smell Good Shop Smoothie Sailing mixed with Bubble and Squeak. So Smoothie Sailing is like this fruity zucchini scent. It's zucchini, vanilla, blackberry, and raspberry, and Bubble and Squeak is fizzy ginger ale. So I thought that would make it like even more enjoyable and spring summery-ish if I mixed it with a fizzy soda scent. Um, and then the other one that I have is also a combination from that smell good shop in bubble and squeak again mixed with wild cherry so it'd be a cherry soda type of scent and i think that would smell really really good but let me know down below like have you tried that blend before was it successful was it a major fail i don't know because I am not that skilled at mixing yet, and a lot of people make mixing look really, really easy, but it's actually really hard, so at least it's really hard for me, so um, yes. Okay, the next blend that I would like to try together is Rose Girls, and um, these are her little mini melters, and one of them is in Jelly Donut, and the other one is in Apple Fritter. And I would do like one cube to one cube of this. So hopefully that would smell good. And then the other concoction that I thought up um, is Waffle Cone and Serendipity from Rose Girls. And Serendipity is sweet, thick, creamy vanilla blended with coconut cream and sugared sweet cherry. And I think it would smell like a cherry ice cream like a cherry gelato type of um, <clears throat> type of blend. And so I would really like to give that one a try, but again, let me know what do you guys think. Okay. In this melting basket, I have just only, what happened to my other clam? Oh, hold on guys. Okay, in this melting basket, I have just only two clams. So this first one is in Ron, which is sweetened cereal, marshmallow, sugary milk, and orange sherbet from Rose Girls. I did melt one cube last week in my bedroom, and it was very light in my bedroom with only one cube. Downstairs, I'm going to try it with more cubes and see how it goes. It'll be a shame if this one doesn't throw well in my house because... It smells so good like it smells like orange creamsicle and I love it so so much so I really hope that it does throw um, well for me and then I have Sensi's black raspberry vanilla which is like a tart berry scent it lasts about eight hours um, and it did well in my bedroom but I still have the six cubes that I can try in my downstairs um, open concept so I'm excited to do that this week and those are my two clam shells um, for the week and then this one is actually a seven ounce candle but I put it into clam shells so this one is Bath and Body Works Limoncello and if you remember last week I had three clams of this scent this week I have only two full clams of this scent so I did use up one clam that was about halfway full um, so I feel like I made good progress 
and if I use up like one clam um, this week and one clam next week, then it'll be done. So I am hopefully going to achieve that goal. I'm going to try to be focused and um, make sure that I melt it downstairs and in my bedroom at least once this week. Okay, now we get to the bags and shapes, which is like the most exciting part because it's the vendor wax. So let me get a little bit organized. Okay, so I have five things from L3 and I'm really, really excited because I've only ever tried one product from L3 and I haven't even finished it up. Um, <clears throat> so I'm really excited because I do want to give more of her products a try. I bought a lot from her and um, I didn't even try anything yet. So these have all been sitting since January 4th. So I'm expecting for them to like be mega throw. Like this is already March. So it has been sitting for two months. <laughs> Um, so I'm expecting a lot from these. So this one is in Cotton Candy Craze Lavender Cream and Pink Sugar. And I'm thinking this will last twice downstairs. So I'll put one fluted tart in each warmer. Um, see how it does. And if it performs well with that amount of wax, then next time I'll do the same thing. Hopefully it will perform well. It'll be like a nice summery scent. Nice spring summer scent um and then i have this i forget what these are called they're not trig tarts they're the other thing um bougie bars i think is what she calls them this one is in brown sugar nutmeg mexican fried ice cream and whipped cream i was actually thinking of saving this one till may for my birthday since it's like a sweet ice cream scent but I just can't wait anymore. I just want to go ahead and melt it and see how it does. Um, next up, I have these two bunts in strawberries and cream zucchini bread. And then I have two scoopables from her. So the first one is one I've tried before. This one is in Reindeer Nose, which is cherry vanilla, gooey marshmallow, and sugar cookie. This one is very, very strong cherry. Very strong throw. Very medicinal cherry. Um, I've tried it one time. I actually have a scent from her that I want to blend it with. I didn't include it in this melting basket. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, I'm just going to tell y'all and I'm going to include it. I'm going to dig it out of my stash. Um, it's a trig tart that I have. It's full, like it's a completely full trig tart. I haven't used any of it. It's in cream soda and I think it will help tone down the cherry a little bit. Um, and make it like a little bit sweeter instead of such strong medicinal cherry. Anyways, let me know if you've made that blend before or what your thoughts are. Do you think it will smell good? Okay, maybe try to put it over here. Yeah, that's better. It's just a long stretch for my arms. <laughs> um, and this scoopable, which I haven't tried yet, but it would be the perfect bedroom scent. This is Violet Sugar Petals, Mallow Fluff, and Vanilla Wafers. And it just smells like it doesn't even have lavender in it, but it just smells like light and airy and like just relaxing. Maybe the violet is like a little bit, um, the violet sugar petals or something is making it like more bedroomy in my head, but I just think of it as a good bedroom scent, so that's where I'm gonna use it. Okay, if you guys can hear that, I'm so sorry. My brother just got in the shower, so the water is running. Oh my gosh, they literally have the worst timing. Literally. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk louder. Um, so next up, I'm gonna talk about Ava's Country Covered. This one, I have five products from her as well. So this one is Ava's Country Covered Cranberry Citrus in this little gingerbread man. And the, um, it's like a fruity scent, so I associate it with springtime still. And then I have Bum Bum, <clears throat> Bum Bum in this little shark, and he's so cute. I have Enchanted Apple in these little smiley faces. 
and I found that one and a half in my downstairs warmers works well um, and then like in each downstairs warmer and then half at a time in my upstairs warmer for these smiley face shapes so hopefully that'll work well then I have these paw prints which are super cute in black cherry merlot which I'm excited this one is kind of similar to bath and body works but I feel like it's heavier it's heavier on the Merlot than the Bath and Body Works one. And then the last one from Ava's is in Linen Breeze. And this one is just like a nice, fresh, clean scent. And I am starting on my spring cleaning, y'all. So, yes, if you're starting on your spring cleaning, use clean fragrances. And it will make your house feel even cleaner. <laughs> um okay next up from rose girls these are ones that i'm just doing by themselves i'm not mixing them this one is in tea and cakes and my first tea and cake scent that i ever tried is from that smell good shop in afternoon tea and i fell in love and so i am really really excited to try the one from rose girls because i really love rose girls as well so i think that'll be nice and then I have, oh my goodness, just literally only two more nights of Goodnight Moon. And then this other chunk piece I'm going to just add into my bag that I got from her um, in her recent Ready to Ship. Because um, I picked up a Goodnight Moon in her recent Ready to Ship. This one is Sweet Lavender, Pink Sugar, Peppermint, and Birthday Cake. And this one is My Love. I love this one for nighttime, for the bedroom. It smells amazing. I will always repurchase it as long as she offers it. I literally broke my no-buy for that scent. That's like the one reason why I ordered from her other than Spruce Willis in the middle of my no-buy. And then it started this whole spiral of buying. Um... And I ended up getting 16 wax melts that I didn't need. But anyways, that's fine. Um, I'm still a little salty at myself for it. Then from Southbound, I have three. This first one is Lavender Marshmallow Cream. Um, because obviously once I finish up Goodnight Moon, I'm going to need something else for my bedroom. Um, this one is Lavender, Vanilla, and Fluffy Marshmallow Cream. I melted this one once so far. And it was very enjoyable. And then a scent that's new to me, I have never melted it before, is Southbound's Blue Laced Linen. Right? Yes. This one is Blue Sugar, Palo Santo, and Clean Linen. That's another bedroom scent. And then I have this loaf, which I regret buying so much. I am not buying another loaf from her um in Grinch cake which is gingerbread cake pops and frosted sugar cookies so oh my gosh loaves are so messy you guys my bag looks like a mess now I tried chopping up half of the loaf and it just made a whole big mess um anyways hopefully I can melt through this one throughout the year of 2021 but I'm hoping to make substantial progress on it in March because um, I am just hoping to. So, yes, that is my melting basket for this week. No, I will not get through all of this wax, but I am just going to try, like, pick and choose from the products that I am feeling on a certain day and just see how it goes, see what I can get used up. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.